Welcome back, y'all! Family, family, family! Game of life. Yours truly hosted by the real OG. That's me. To my real OG mamas, my real future OGs out there in the world. Uh, we back here, Game of Life, talking about health, wealth, and happiness is the mantra. Um, we talk about the community, our environment, um, self-empowerment, and today's topics. Um, we're going to finish up because this was a two-part series that we were doing, and that was uh, about the wealth and um, what has changed in 50 years um, was, was, was the topic. And um, I'll finish up uh, where I left off about the um, average um, white family and the average black family. And uh, the wealth was uh, average white family worth approximately 150000 Average black family was worth about $13,000 out there. And that's 40 million white families that's fitting in that particular uh, average market. And um, roughly 15% um, or more of the black population is uh, fitting in that particular category of um, worth 100000 250000 Most black people that's in there, most of that wealth is in their home, in their automobiles, jewelry. You know, we like to floss, so a lot of that's in clothes and other stuff that you may see as assets um really a lot of people see those as uh not an asset <laughs> so to speak um and then uh i guess the big one is uh 50 percent of our community in the black community that's creating a lot of this is uh is in the negative 50 percent of black america is in the negative Hear what I said, people? Fifty percent <laughs> of the black community is in the negative. That means they working che paycheck to paycheck, and they owe. They getting credit cards and other stuff out there that they ain't never gonna get out of debt from. They got college, you know, um, bills due that it's gonna take them forty, fifty years to pay it off. Um, that's where we at, you know, and, and that's the, the big medium. Um, but I mean, we can get out of this. We just have to come up with some kind of small plan. I mean, we really can't be looking at the other man or what they're doing. We got to look at what we doing. We got to ask for, you know, those reparations that's dude and oh, these ain't nothing like you asking for a handout or something. This is a debt old people. This is a debt old. Um, but we can't, we not can't get stuck on that. Like I've already spoken. Folk, uh, we can't be looking for the oppressor to, to come showing up. I mean, if the shoe was on the other foot, and that's how what I talk about taking your feelings off, putting it over here. If you was in that same shoe, would you be trying to help, you know, somebody that you didn't oppress? And this is the reason you got all the wealth that you got. You know what I'm saying? You you got there. <laughs> no, they said 40 acres. They gave them 50 acres when they was happy. If you had a slave, you got 50 extra acres. Because you had a slave. Well, you never got that them acres back when they said the 40 acres of the mule. Well, you never got that. And, you know, some of us got it. And I, I've talked about that a little bit about um, it was, you know, rich black folks. There's some black people who owned slaves back. Was, in fact, the very first when they called it slave, they used to call it indentured servants when they brought them, us over here and all that other good stuff. Um, but the black man, uh, Ellis, he was one of the first slave owners, black or white. You know what I'm saying? So it was blacks owning slaves. Those a lot of those stories don't tell you because it, it's a demeaning, keep you down, to keep you out of your spirit of feeling good about yourself, having something to attach on to and be like, okay, yeah, well, hell, even through all of that, we were being great. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah. 50% of black America is in the negative, you know, it ain't 50% of, you know, there's a lot of whites out there that's in the negative, but it's a whole lot of them out there doing really good, really well, you know what I'm saying? Opposed to our community and we're in that 
Um, I mean, I'm going to ask this question. I mean, who is your friend? Like, really? If we black people, who really is our friend to our community? You know, who 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 is lending that helping hand up? You know what I'm saying? Is it the Latino community? Is it the Asian community? Is it the Arab community? Is it the, the white community? Hell, is it, if it, is it even, you know, other blacks? You know what I'm saying? We have such far awayness. Um, we not we not getting the con that we have too many divisions. Like I talked about here, and, and for those out there, first time I talked about it, and um, we have to search out and seek these knowledges. But we got to be on vertical issue, people. We got to set aside the the. Um, horizontal issues you know what I'm saying if you Christian he Catholic he Muslim you can't work with them they can't do this but all of y'all broke all of y'all got problems all y'all need money all y'all kids is uh getting shot and killed and we got too many <laughs> things that's the same issues out here that has needs to be addressed so um like I said, I'm just trying to be the, the, the alarm and wake people up, you know. I get it. Each and every person's life is their own life, and you're entitled to do whatever you want to do with your life. You know, I truly understand there's a whole lot of people that don't want shit out here in life. They all just don't want shit, you know what I'm saying? And that's fine. It's your life, you know, do what you what you choose to do. But I like to see greatness, and I'm trying to build greatness amongst myself, amongst the people that I, I come in contact with, the the spirits that I'm trying to carry out here is, uh, how y'all doing out there? Hey, 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 um, Game of Life talk show. Y'all make sure y'all checking in, health, wealth, and happiness. Um, and we're talking about what's changed in 50 years. You know, not much has changed in 50 years. Um, like I said, we had the cell phone, the microwave. A lot of technology has changed. But far as the state of the black community, ain't much changed. Now, a lot to change the state in the white community because I pull up the charts. All you see is this. <laughs> All you see is this. When you see black community, it's like this. It's like motherfucker going flatline. You know what I mean? And, and that's just real talk. You know what I mean? Um, what hasn't changed is black imprisonment. Black imprisonment that went up in the past 50 years for the population of black incarcerations. You know what I'm saying? They say the Biden administration... Other administrators say they're going to do something about it, try to address a lot of them. But, like, once again, if you're asking your persecutor to to, 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 <laughs> to help you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's why I said we have to, we got to get our own political group that's addressing the um, need in the black community out here. Um, we one of the longest residents here in the United States of America. We didn't fought in every war. We didn't, like I said, gave blood, sweat, and tears. Um, black ownership. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole nother topic, you know what I'm saying? It it really ain't been increased uh, in 50 years either, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, when I'm talking about who is your friend, who really is helping you? I mean, who are you going to help you? That's what my thing is. All of us can help ourselves. I got I got the answer for everything. You know what I'm saying? Take care of your space and you. And if everybody do that, we finna be good. It ain't going to take no time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but we know that's not going to be the case out here in the world. Um, so, we, and we just need a few, you know, good people. You know, a few... People getting their crowd. Um, Cause the impact it rolls downhill. That means if this man is doing good and he able to hire your son to mow his grass or, or do something, then that's gonna help you. That means that's that less money that you got to go spend out or do. You know what I'm saying? So get in that thought. But the, the reality of it, per hundred thousand, 
the chance of a white man going to pr prison or doing some jail time is 6% in his lifetime. Per 100,000 is 6%. And a black man, per 100,000, is 32 to 35% chance that he going to go to jail, be in prison, and all y'all got to, I know it ain't even hard for y'all to think average out there for you to think of five people that's either locked up right now that you know <laughs> you ain't got to think hard i know you don't because i know i don't you know what i'm saying i got two people that get bonded out today as we speak you know what i'm saying that's the reality of our community you know what i mean so let's not take this like it's okay see because we done went insane when you didn't go insane you don't even know certain things that you do it, it, stuff that's just not a normal normality, especially in 2021. I could see if we was back in 17, you know, 41 or 16, 21, or even 18, 21 to be thinking this is okay. 19, 21 to think that some of this stuff is rational because the standard of living. We in the United States, the richest country in the world. You got running water everywhere. You know what I'm saying? You got access to electricity. You got access to so many things here and the conditions that we living under it, it, it's it's unexcusable america it's unexcusable for you to sit there and and and, and, and see a community like they talking about going over there it's talking about the 10 worst um places in the united states and they was comparing them to third world countries and they went to one part of here my hometown in flint and they had that label as one of the 10 worst places in the United States. Every one of those 10 in, is black urban areas. Detroit, St. Louis. I mean, y'all go look it up. Look up the thing. Y'all watch the video. It'll help you, you know what I'm saying, to understand the reality. Let's wake up. Let's, let's you know, be strong. Because once you get this thing under control, this brain, and get it moving, and, and, and get to loving one another, I mean, you can have a bad community. You, I've, I've went through several beautiful black communities that's in the hood. There's a bunch of old people stay there, and they keep their grass mowed. They go out there and pick up the trash. They, I mean, this is what they're doing. And then you go one block over, and it looks like you're in some foreign country. Trash everywhere. Dog shit everywhere. Grass ain't mowed. Roof messed up. And they ain't caring about nothing. Nothing. One block over. I'm sure this is everybody's reality out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm just ringing the alarm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be the bad guy. You know what I'm saying? If I got to be a hater, then I'm up to join the hater team, the hater squad. You know what I mean? Because uh, <laughs> it's a real reality out here, you know? Um, so who are your enemies? Ask yourself that question. You know, if, if, if you ain't got no friends, then who who your enemy? You know what I mean? I mean, all of us are hopefully we having love and families because we can do that. We can. And if you don't have a good love and family, get in your mindset to have one, to have, you know. And, and it's hard. A lot of people are like, well, don't nobody just say, no, who, what are you doing? Who are you? What are you doing for somebody? Who are you to, to those other people out there? A, a number of people come to me and say, Cool man, you my best friend. Da, 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 da. Yeah, okay, I'm your best friend, but you're not my best friend. What is you? What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? I, if I need some help, can I come to you? You're not the, not the first person on my list that I'm, I'm coming to. Be that person. You know, you got to be given in order to receive. And I've talked about that, and I'm going to talk about it because when you point that finger. You point that finger, it's three fingers pointing back at you. So you got to own up to some of the situations we in. All of us are under conditions that we put ourselves in. You know what I'm saying? We have an active role. If you ain't um, incapacitated and you got all your limbs that can move around, you have a lot to do with the situation you in. You just have to own up to it. You know what I'm saying? You got to hone up to it. But getting yourself in a healthy spirit, being able to have that laughter, making sure that you're healthy. A lot of us let things just go, let life go. Don't do that to yourself. 
You know, don't do that to yourself. Get control of this. Start thinking. Get off autopilot. Unlearn some of this bullshit that you've been taught. Start learning some new stuff, some new ways. I'm not talking down about our, our, our grandparents or our parents or our forefathers because they went through what they went through when they had to go through it. This is a new time, a new era. We have access to information. If you're watching this, then you have access to information. I'm giving it to you. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is take it among yourself, break out a paper and pen, push rewind, start signing up to figuring out when this is coming on to get you some knowledge, some motivation, somebody that's not going to be bullshitting you like the world is doing out here to you. It's great. Let's please have fun. Please enjoy. My mantra is health, wealth, and happiness. This is what I want for all of us. At the same time, we have to acknowledge the realities in the real world here. This is a real place we living in. This is a real place that we're at. You know what I'm saying? How do you get there? I mean, flossing and flexing, and I understand it don't cost much to go, you know, get you some clothes and something to drink and go have a good time. Please do that. But too many of us is acting like we have no destination. We have no plans, zero. Let's wake our community up. Wake the community up. We have lost our whole community, people. And once upon a time, we owned our own bus stations, our own movie theaters, our own everything. We had our own community. We owned all the grocery stores. And when I say grocery store, I'm talking about the little mom and pop's party stores. We no longer own. We sold out, you know what I'm saying, for whatever they then got up because we want to be a part of. You know what I'm saying? You want to go to Walmart. You want to go to Myers. You want to go somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? We got to start supporting ourselves. The the um, Indians that came in here bought up all the gas stations. The 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 Arabs they bought up all the party stores. The um, Koreans and the Asian community they bought up all the black hair care stuff across the country. They selling the hair. I mean, come on. When we gonna get off of it, people? Hey hey hey, for y'all just checking in. Um, Let's wake up. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's, let's get some greatness about ourselves. Let's um, get off of, you know, not serving our kids, our generation. We can do this. I've told the stories. I'm going to keep come telling them stories and doing inspiration because we we're, we're great people. We've been through a lot and we've endured. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and don't get it twisted because... Wealth is when you have great health and you have a good family and, and friends and friends that's like family. That's wealth there because we have people that's worth hundreds of millions and billions of dollars and people can't stand their ass. You know what I'm saying? They don't got nothing. They go to bed at night and that's all they're thinking about is getting some more money. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing they can do. You know what I mean? If you got health, wealth, and I'm talking wealthy familyness. When you get that money, just think what your life is gonna be. You know what I'm saying? You don't need a whole lot of once. I want to see everybody. I don't want to be the only nigga with money. I want to be the only one around my organization that got it. You know what I'm saying? I want my man to have it so he can buy me a gift when I'm buying him a gift. You know what I'm saying? I want my woman to be able to take me out and get me something to eat sometime. I don't want to be paying the bill all the time. You know what I mean? I don't want her to ask me all the time when she want to go get a new purse, some new shoes. I have her own wealth, you know what I mean? She ain't got to come as. <laughs> so that's, that, that's the spirit we want to be in out here. Um, once again, y'all make sure y'all hitting that like, that share, the notifications, the sub subscribe, the follow, um, get the algorithm up. Y'all out there in Facebook land, y'all make sure y'all follow us over once we start on uh, uh, YouTube. I'm definitely going to be giving that information out. It'll be under the game of life. Y'all got it in reverse. I mean, I know my YouTubers and uh, Instagrammers, y'all seeing and y'all seeing the whole set. When I'm doing this, y'all seeing my hands, my Facebook family, they barely see my elbows. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, let's be being good out there. Um, I got to do my... Um, commercial two networks that i got y'all make sure y'all checking out and y'all supporting them that's sundown.tv that's www 
S U N D I A L dot TV. That's S U N D I A L dot TV. That's www. Still got to put that in right now till we get way, way up there. Some people would pop right up, some people would don't. So it's just easier for you to put that in there. It's for the more mature audience. Um, Most of we got the music thing. It's like the, the, the BET when they first came out um, with all the music shows. We got some beautiful shows and some beautiful stuff out there it's for the more mature audience i have the second one which is uh high dimension that's www.highd.tv that's www.highd.tv that's for my young and uh more mainstream y'all go out there and check that out and support that um i said we got a lot of older people going on those networks because they into the um the Cardi B's and the Drake's and all those other people that's doing what they do out there. That's the one of the higher markets, you know what I'm saying, that's out there. Um, now, I want to talk about y'all, make sure y'all being healthy out there because if you're not being healthy, you can't be in good spirits. And we want to be about those good spirits. We want to make sure that we um encouraging our kids and encouraging our community um, to do great things. Um, and and that's the only way we're going to be able to um, rise above the situation and um, our situations out here. Like I've talked about, white man's lifetime, 6%. Black man's lifetime, 35%. There's some huge numbers. I mean, you already heard about what I've said about the um, access to money. Um it's not there. I mean, it's a lot of stuff going out here. And the funny thing is our community is doing so much better actually right now with a little bit of access. You know what I'm saying? I just only can imagine what a lot of access will do for us out here in the world. Um, but I need y'all to be knowing that time waits on no man or no woman. I know y'all haven't, well, it's a lot of us that's on, on top of it, but it's not enough of us. Our numbers is just like those numbers that I talked about, the 50% being, you know, under paycheck to paycheck. That's our numbers as far as people out here doing stuff and taking care of business and, and, and really harnessing what needs to happen for our community. And we need to be uh, understanding that time. I mean, we almost at half way through the year. Can you imagine that? Last year we had the pandemic situation. They was talking about they want to get things back open. And then we're going to, that's February, March of last year. Now we already in May. Next month we'll be at the halfway point of this year. What have you done this year? What have you got accomplished? What have you got done? I'm just trying to ring the bell and be that um, big brother. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that that uncle, that cousin, that little brother. If you older, you know what I'm saying? Because because you then got a certain age don't mean it's over. Life is over when you feel like you know. Hey, you ready to get up out of here? And um, so be mindful of that. You know, be thinking. In those terms, that um, you you, you want to take your life serious. Please, I hope you only have one life to live. Make it the great. You know what I mean? If if it's gonna be great, just chilling and hang out. Then go ahead and be that. You know what I'm saying? But it's about balance, and we want to make sure that we 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 get in that balance and. When we learn our true value, it won't even be hard for you to, to, to get where you need to go. It, it's not, hey, 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 y'all, love, love. Um, it won't even be hard when you understand what your true value is. I mean, our community... We've been getting took advantage of all around the board. <laughs> Everybody else know what our true value is. 
and I'm talking to the black community right now, and don't get me wrong, it's some very talented uh, Asian Americans, some very talented Spanish and Hispanic people out here that's here in, in, in this world. It's some very talented white um, people in this world that, I mean, you see a lot of us as human beings talking down to ourselves. Don't do that. Don't put that in your spirit. Please, people, don't put that in your spirit. Make sure that you're um, pushing yourself up. I want you to be thinking of abundance and success. You know, what you put in your mind, what you go to sleep thinking about, how you see yourself, the value that you set for yourself, that's the value that um, what you put in your mind is what it's going to be, you know, out there. Don't be worrying about what other people are thinking about you, how they feel about you. That don't matter because how you feel about you is what really, really matters. You know what I'm saying? Can you go to sleep with you at night? You know what I'm saying? If you're sitting there worrying about everybody else and everything else, you done lost the battle already. You know what I'm saying? So, we, we like I said, we out here about talking about the um, game of life. And uh, what what changed in 50 years? I mean, y'all go out there, y'all do y'all own research and really, you know, soak that up. And people in the comments, y'all put in there, you know, y'all thoughts about the um, 50 years. You know, what changed if you've been around that long? If you've been around 25 years, you know what's been changed. My young people that's just not getting on here, they only can go 10 years back. Go in there for that 10 years, you know what I mean? Um, our community... Um, like I said, I'm still in on the black community. We we we've been in a a, a reverse and a dormant state for a, a quite a bit of time, and um, they give me the the, the cue to um, <laughs> to get on out of here. So I'm about to got to have to wrap it up. But as always, like I said, you make sure y'all being healthy out here. Because if you ain't healthy, you can't be positive. Make sure you're getting out there, get some exercise. I don't even got to turn to Arnold Schwarzenegger or no athlete or anything like that. But make sure you're drinking your water and staying healthy. To my haters, to my haters, y'all know what it is. Give it to you, but it's with love. Family to next time. Game of life. Yours truly, the real OG and my real OG people. Peace, love. A new TV channel, Sundial.tv. That's S U N D I A L. TV. Urban culture, music, lifestyle, fashion shows, comedy, and more. Check us out at Sundial.tv. TV lineup What happened to that one hit wonder? The battle. New versus old. Top 100 countdown. Old school mix up. Slow jam. Sundial. So put us in your browser. S U N T I A L. TV. A new way to watch TV on the web. Check us out. High D dot TV. That's H I G H D dot TV. High Dimension Networks. The lineup. Top 100 of all time. Old school hip hop. What's new now? Top 10 from the street. That's my jam. New to the game. And legends in music. Yeah, that's right. It's about time. Something new in TV. A brand new game. New flavor in TV. High Dimension Network. H I G H D dot TV. When you're ready to go from local to global, Web TV can help you reach your prospective audience and hit the target with your product, service, or brand in a personalized ad campaign with business packages from every size of business. When you're ready to do some new and cool stuff, come and see us at Web TV. This could be your commercial being seen by thousands of viewers. You can email us at webtvmedia1 at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing from you. If you think you have talent, you can have a chance at being seen on TV. Models, actors, actresses, comedians, personalities, Personalities, speakers, and DJs. Experience or no experience, all are welcome. Music artists, fashion designers, directors, production assistants, videographers, set designers, stage managers, sound technicians. Send short bio, range of work, and talent. Models, actors, actresses, please include photo. 10 max. Send to webtvmedia1 at gmail.com.